Since my game crashed after literally after when I stopped recording, it's actually given me a, a pretty good time to come back into Temple Ruins and actually show where the boxes are that I missed. Um, this Wampa here is very suspicious, actually, and if you if you casually sneak over here, you'll realize that they are not what they appear to be. You don't want to go too fast, otherwise you just, the boxes won't spawn in time, and that would be completely another ball. Even though you could walk through this, it's just... I'd rather call it a uh, compromise rather than try and risk it with the game's load time. But anyway, now that I've got those boxes, I'll see you back on the map when I get the gem. Right, so now that we've got that and we've got our seventh gem of the game. Uh, seventh should be eighth. If if it's uh, if the game crashes somehow, I erase my jungle f jungle rollers gem, then I will just go back and do it off screen. So it's already showing me getting it on screen anyway. Anyway, let's move on to Road to Nowhere, the new level. Road to Nowhere, similar to Temple Ruins in terms of platform, it, in terms of um, placement. What have we got? All this mainly maintains is you just need to watch where you jump and don't stay in one place for too long. Just basically, it tests your position platforming. This is another level that you. Oh, uh, well, uh, since we can't get the level anyway, there's no point in trying to, um, get it now, anyway. Oh, sh oh, there we go. Right, to get this life here, you have to basically just get it down to a two block and then just long jump it. That's it, baby. When's he coming back? This one's a bit tricky because you have to time it perfectly. At least we're getting some bonus round in this level, so I don't lose any level progress in case of any more freezing. Yeah, so th this is one of the spots where you come in order to get the, um, the secret path. You need the pink gem in order to get that. The only thing that's a bit difficult is you, you do have to actually time your jumps a little better um, in this level than normal, because otherwise that's going to happen if you try and outshot your jumps, and that's not really going to be worth it at the end of the day. So, they will always keep a plank jumpable, so it's not like an impossible jump, it's just you're either shooting it, well, you're either overshooting it or you're not shooting it too much. Yeah, I have a shot that then. Let's see what I did wrong there. <laughs> oh wow, well, I overshoot it that I overshoot the next one. It's all about how you how long you press you go forward for with a jump. Try and hit everyone, instead of trying to skip, because otherwise if you have to if you do end up getting screwed, you it's not gonna be pretty. Right, here should be the bonus round. Now, with the Lost City bo Brio bonus round, I kind of messed it up, even though it was right at the end. I just don't want to mess up another bonus round. Not too difficult. This one. Yeah, that wasn't that one wasn't too difficult, and it's got another two levels at the belt, so it should take me up to Road to Nowhere on the next save. Just in case of the game crashes, I'll only have to do this level again. So the, with these turtles, you can jump on them. However, though, your 
jump will only be good enough if you know if you can place yourself accordingly. So yeah, you can make it depending on whether or not if you can do it. But anyway. Yeah, I kind of failed that one. <laughs> Epically. But in terms of the gem, but I can't really do anything about that. But uh, there's one thing I want to check though before I end this video off. We will be moving on to um, Boulder Dash in the next video. Just want to quickly check something. I just want to check to see if I got the gem for this, which I do. So in the next level, we'll be doing Boulder Dash. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs>